When you first open up the website, what do you think? I think I like the text that moves and I fo and it follows my eye as I look at it. Because it's very, it's very satisfying to watch it go back and forth and it's satisfying how it goes. The strips. I like how it's the same image and you've like flipped it, cause it and it's how it's completely symmetrical on both sides. Alright. Uh. <laughs> um, I like... I like how it's consistent with the font, the the same one that was used, that was moving behind her, and for the navigation bar. I like how it's split, black and white. Um, I think when you see the next bit underneath, the next strip is black, not black, sorry, it's white. Um, it's a good way to split it from black to black and white to then white. Um, and I like how it's also got the text as well. Um, I think the editing of the image of her having like no background is once again really good. They've been good so far as well. I like this one because of the big speech bubble. It's really cool. And also, I don't know if this was intentional, but the fact that she's holding the phone, it looks like she's typed it. That's from my point of view though, but I like that. I like how the colour is like only on this bit because it's so important. Because it's a music website. It's a musician website. Having the colour, the, the section that has got colour in it, or the most colour, to be the bit with the music in, makes a lot of sense. And it also looks aesthetically pleasing. Especially with the click here stuff, the arrows. It also, the movement, once again, is satisfying to just watch. And also the little one of her looking at the movement, that's quite cute as well. Because it's like she's looking at herself moving. Well, I'm going to move to the about page now. Uh, on the about page, it's just a little uh, little bit of information about who Amy is. You don't need to read this because it's not important whatsoever. But what do you think about the about page itself? I like I like the image. I like the text. I feel like the the text because it's the same one as the title and all the most of the text I've seen already. It is kind of getting for me just a little bit too much. Just a little bit. I would have preferred if it was like the text. Not sorry, the font that's used for the navigation bar. Um, not the main title, but like the pages. That would have been nice because it would have been because it's a more um, readable font just in general. But it, it's not like you can't read the one that's there. But it's just it would be more readable. I also think that that main image of Amy on this page. I think it would be good if it had like some kind of border around it instead of it kind of just being there. Maybe like if you're going with like this typewriter kind of effect that I see here. Maybe like. Maybe like some kind of paper, over not like an overlay, but like maybe a border. Do you want to move to the next, the next one? Music. Right. New album. New album coming soon, it says at the top. And there's a, a thing to pre-order the album I number one. Off. Please start by looking at the uh, picture of the first album. Yeah, just go picture by picture. Yes. Amy Dorber, one. I like the picture. It's blurry, it's edgy. Um, it's different to what we've seen already because we've mostly seen clear pictures so it's good to break up there if she has eras like musicians have started to have now they have different eras for different albums okay eras. so if you look next to that picture uh, there is a, a little music player I think in all honesty you probably shouldn't have used that text that you've used for most of it on the actual album cover if you'd use like a more simplified one i think it would be better but i also do understand if it's like this website is for this era and that's why it's the same text that would make sense to me the bit that says pre-order i would prefer if it just like if the text had some sort of Maybe instead of the whole thing, like the whole box around it, changing colour when you hover over it, it would be better if it just like outlined in a hover or something. Okay, Not necessarily let's go. change colour. Alright. <laughs> Moved on to the next album, which is the uh, actual Spotify sessions, which does exist, I promise you. I like the image. Could. It's it's edited well again. It's kinda edgy. I like how it's black, um and white, which kinda matches the black matches the Spotify logo and the white matches the text obviously, but I think black and white, when you think about Spotify, are two colours you'd think of other than green, which is nice. Debut album, new. Uh, what do you think about the photograph and the, um, what do you call it? 
uh, text and the editing. Well, I like this cover the most um, because it's so different. Um, the thing with the image is because you can see it's the s similar to the images of the like newer eras. If this is not the same era, then you kind of think, is it is it like a thing where she wears the same clothes for each era, or is it like? Not, is it like a recent old era? I think that the font that's also used throughout the thing, being on the right side, it should just be the same font as the title because if it's that album, which is like, this one's the clearest that it's like a whole different thing to me out of all of them. Um, you'd want it to be the same text um, or the same, well not the same colours because it's kind of like grayscale colours but you want it to be the same font. I do like how I do actually like how the player functions though. Mm -hmm. It is it is very convenient. I would prefer I would also well not prefer but I would like if there was like an actual player to a yeah. external music site like Spotify or SoundCloud or even YouTube. All right, well next page, way. <laughs> Welcome to the next page. This is the videos page, right? I get to, you can watch these videos now. Hi, I'm Amy Dolliver. I'm this very small artist from Cheshire, and I am producing some new music, so you can stay tuned. I like the concept of the flashing, right? I like how it's kind of paparazzi, and when you look at the top um, image of the whole site, right? Well, not the whole site, the whole this whole page, and it has a camera. You kind of understand the theme of the camera. Um, I like the background. Of, I like the setting of it. It's brick. It's cool. It's edgy. Um, I would prefer if the audio was a little bit more cleaner. Like maybe she had like a mic on her or something, if that was possible. Amy answers the world's most important questions. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Me. I like how it's the same location as before. Obviously consistent. Um, it's funny. It shows what her personal tone is as an artist because obviously you have artists that are more serious artists that are more um relaxed and down to earth so you can tell that she's one of them she's more down to earth she's personal that's also shown through previous sections of the site like the about me page where she's talking about herself in the first person it's not like someone's wrote it for her um and that reflects through this video and it's funny how it zooms in it's kind of similar to um YouTube content, like popular YouTube content, which also re reflects what kind of audience this these like videos and the whole artist as a whole as a whole is like aimed towards. All right, then please move to the final video. I love rock, all terms of rock. That's the kind of vibe that I go for. Um, I love a bit of everything to be honest. I could vibe pretty hard to classical if I wanted to, but no, definitely rock. That's more my thing. Like the video before, it's personal, it's cool. It relates to her, um, like obviously being a musician, which is great because it gives more insight into her, her personal sound, her interests when it comes to music and all that, which is always fun. Um, I think once again, because of the camera stuff, yes, the camera stuff is cool, but because you can hear it click in the background, it is kind of a little bit distracting, but it's still engaging because of the zooms. Um, in the editing um which is similar obviously as i said before to youtube editing where it zooms in quickly to grab the um audience's attention okay so are we ready to move to the next page okay oh, so the photographs page uh i love photographs but now go through every single photograph until we like them right this image i've seen before the smoke effect is epic um it's edgy it's kind of blurry like that um new era album that we saw before i like how it's smoky i like how she's looking off in the distance i like this image a lot i think you've used this for the bits of the text moving behind it i think the black on the red and the white all colors that you see in the site you see the graffiti in the videos that we just watched it's great to have consistency i do like i do like how clear the background is i like i like the text it's bright I think it's very satisfying to look at how it's outlined around her legs because it's just so well done around the leg and especially because 
all the rest of it is mostly covered by the text like the outline and i like how she's looking at and giving direct address to the audience i think it would be better if she didn't have a hair in her face though just because you want to see the artist's face when you look at pictures of them it's very the like depth of field it's very blurry um it's kind of giving um taken on the phone but not actually with the, this background as well i love this red and white like brick type background you can tell it's like conventional because of how she's like positioned i would prefer though if there was like maybe a little bit more variation with the outfits obviously that's not always possible but maybe if there were some pictures of her with like her jacket off maybe around her waist or something that would be better to separate the pictures a bit more this one i don't really like i'm going to be honest just because you can't really see her because she's wearing black her hair's black i like how it's kind of shut shut off right. from the rest of the location but it's also kind of cool in the way that she kind of blends in with the like the darkness all right next page <laughs> Okay, what do you think about this page now? I like the image. I like how it's kind of faded. It's kind of edgy. It's like, ooh, because the tour dates are coming soon. It's like, ooh, we're not fully, the image isn't fully clear because we're not fully clear of the tour dates yet. It's like, so it gives a sense of suspense. It's like, when are the tour dates coming? Hopefully soon. Oh, there's a timer. That's interesting. Now we know when they're coming, don't we? I like how it's the same symmetrical, like, double effect of her as it was on the home page that's cool I, it, I would like if it said like the name of the tour oh it says it underneath <laughs> never mind I would prefer if it had the if this is the name of the tour where will it I be I think it would be good if it had it here as well where it was like Amy Dorber where will I be tour countdown or something I'm Rihanna and there's the shop page where you can buy Amy Dorber products um it would be good if it specified what the product I'm purchasing £10.45 is. Is it on vinyl? Is it digital? I would prefer if the t-shirt and the cap, well maybe not necessarily the cap because the caps don't really have pictures on, but I would prefer if the t-shirt had a picture on as well. Also, these prices are so weird. I like the image of what, uh, below it. Um, it's like she's looking at you like, please buy my merch, please. So I'd like to tell me your final thoughts on the website. Overall, I like it. I like that. I think my favourite thing was those images where it was red and white, um, or the one where she was really small. That stuck out to me throughout the whole website. I would have preferred if they were in um, some of the actual pages. That would be fun. But I like um, my favourite page was probably the home page, obviously because the home page is eye catching. 